What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Sad V. Sitting here chilling. Just wanted to make a video. I'm going through some emotional stuff right now. Just wanted to share it with you. Okay, I'm always by myself because I just want to say I'm so grateful to be clean today. Like, clean because uh, the doctor is skanky. That's his real name. I thought they were talking about ska music and shit. Dr. Skanky. Uh, he had me on antibiotics and he had me on IVs. And uh, I feel so clean, bro. Okay, I'm starting to feel the vergasso from Fremont Street. And that was a crazy day. I was at Fremont. Something made me go slaying the, the, the teddy bear shoes. It was like inner. Like inner pool or some shit. I don't know what it is. Something pulled me there, and then the ambulance came and helped me. I'm so grateful that I, that I took the ambulance because man, all my body's getting tired of doing drugs. You know, I I don't do drugs. I get in trouble. I get caught up and all kinds of shit. You know, so it's like. I'm just taking the time to thank the people that helped me get through those moments. All those detoxes and all that stuff. I'm just grateful, you know. <sighs> yeah. Drugs took control of my life, man. And right now, I'm, like, tired now. I'm really, really tired. Ooh, you know, I don't like them. <sighs> my body feels tired, you know. Like, my, I feel like hopefully well now we're stopping and not doing it no more. But I'm so happy to be clean, man. I'm so grateful to feel clean. I feel the ass whooping right now. You know, all my body hurts, you know. Like, shit that I didn't feel yesterday. <sighs> it's a trip, man. Uh, but I'm grateful, you know. I just want to take the time to say I'm grateful for all the ambulance drivers, the doctors, and... If I ever pissed off on that ambulance driver, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to get that off my chest or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. This last time it was different, you know. I think it was, I think they hit you with the coke bomb. And shit, it was just weird. I just, I don't want to do drugs no more. You know, I made a song that was like, I don't want to do drugs no more. It was tight. It was like, I don't want to do drugs anymore. And then I was like, I can't stand it anymore. Like I can't even sing the song anymore, but I just, I don't want to do drugs no more because damn, that shit sucks. Like, it sucks so bad. And then it takes forever for people to remember you, you know, from a drug hit, you know, like people from school and people from, I don't know. I, I, yeah, yeah. The song I made up earlier today was like, it was like, I did drugs, but I don't want to do it. My body's tired, but I don't want to go on. It was tired. It was <laughs> it's something like that, you know. It's just craziness. I'm just grateful, okay? God. My life, I hope my life is changing now. Huh? You know, all that drug use, like, these past, like, since I was, like, in high school, senior year, since then I've been battling, well not battling, but getting my ass whooped by drugs, <laughs> but now I'm just like, damn dude, I'm tired, <sighs> three more years and it's a, it's a, it's a dub show, <laughs> 20 years of drug abuse, of, of being abused by drugs, crazy, I don't want to say, <laughs> Just thank you. Hmm. You know? I really don't like doing drugs. I don't. Um, no. That's crazy. Ah. I've been smoking cigarettes forever. Hmm. Yeah. It's kiss, man. Keep it simple, Sad. Keep it simple. Sad. All I gotta say to, to like, people is, like, everything works when it's anonymous, bro. But to do it in the knowns is a lot harder because you get tested by everything. But when you're anonymous, nobody tests you but yourself. But when you're known, 
and you have no choice but to go through the trials by fire, then it's a totally different story. I'm just... Uh, I'm hyped up right now. Thinking about like positive shit to do. Uh, I guess I'm starting to heal from the Vegas hits. I fucking fell in Fremont Street. I guess does that mean I can't have a job there now? Like fuck. Damn, all this up and down. I got hit on my side of town. And I got hit everywhere, man. Wow. We got hit everywhere. I wonder if I can have a job now. Huh. Crazy. Wow. And I'm just like, I hear all this good shit in my head all day. And I'm like, man, is that going to happen? I don't know. When my girlfriend shows up, she's going to take care of all this. All this, whatever this shit is in my head, you know. But, uh. It's crazy. Once I recover from all these hits, man, I wonder what's, what kind of life I'm gonna have. Like, what kind of life I'm gonna have? What kind of a, what kind of a life I'm gonna have? Like, man, it's like I seriously have faith that I'm that I'm that I'm that I'm gonna have the uh, this moment in time where I'm just gonna be done, you know, and that shit's not gonna bother me no more. You know, where the people and things of the drugs won't bother me. Or make me hurt, you know. But, you know, because I don't do drugs, you know. But it doesn't mean I don't get hit by people. You know. It's just physically my body just... Fuck, it just... Just the thought of it makes me tired. Like, fuck, uh, that's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> uh, you know. Fuck. <sighs> it's just a trip, man. Almost died on Fremont Street. I shit my pants too. Like. <laughs> I think I did the Fremont step or something. The, the Fremont this. Gonna you shit yourself. Damn, this shit was crazy. Wow. This is crazy. Wow. Big ups to my girlfriend, whoever she is today. I'm just having one of those days, bro. Like, God. I didn't... <sighs> Fuck. I don't want to do drugs. I'm just... Being grateful for not being on drugs. And remembering how you didn't have control over using. Yeah. That was crazy. You know, that's why it just pisses me off when I have a good day. You know, I love good days. I'm gonna go. It's just fuck. It's just scary, bro. I was gonna go have a beer today. And I was like, nah. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get hit. You know. Even though I do like Pabst Blue Ribbon, though. I tried one of those and it was great. It's it's just one. It's great. I tried it, and uh, I tried it and. Uh, I liked it. It was a Pabst Blue Ribbon. It's the size. I think it's like 16 ounce. 16 ounce. Yeah, that shit was great. I didn't get drunk or nothing. I just enjoyed the taste and shit. It was, it was good. <sighs> Popcorn, jelly beans. What am I going to be in this city, man? Like, how am I going to support myself? Who's going to hire me? You know, what am I going to do? <sighs> wow. That's what happens. Things are getting real, bro. I'm not the dire type. You know, I don't... I'm just, like, going through the motions and it makes you feel like you want to die. But you can't. But you really just want to go about your life. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, still working, still living in the faith, bro. Life gets wow. Huh?